In this video, we will see how to use date columns with uh, time in var condition. Basically, I'm trying to retrieve record for last 24 hours, or you want to retrieve records for a specific duration, say from morning uh, till 2 a.m. From morning, uh, from midnight till 2 a.m., you want to retrieve the records. How to write the sequels? We will see. Right. So let me do it with select star from employees we'll create a test table and then we'll see how to do it right so if you see here the higher date column we don't have any uh, time component is not displayed here so what i will do is i will use the alter session command i'll say alter session set nls underscore date format is equal to dd uh, let me do it with m o n y y y h h 24 colon mi colon ss right so i have altered the session time format now if you see select star from employees we are getting everything in 000 format so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a test table which is going to have only first name last name and there is going to be another column called created date with some random date and time so how do i generate random date and time i can generate random date and time using dbms underscore random dot value 0 comma 9 from dual so what it will do is it will generate random numbers between 0 and 9 I run this multiple times i get all this random numbers so what if i do right the same sql i use okay copy and paste let me do sys date minus dbms underscore random so what you see 18th september 20th september with different times you are getting right 1801 like that we are getting next record 1720 so now what i will do i will just say select first name comma last name and then I can just simply add this, right? So this is going to be my own column, user defined column. And we will say, and I will say this is create an underscore date from employees. So the output, what we get is for different dates we are generated now. For last 10 days, we have generated the created date column. So what I will do is now I will create a EMP test table. I'll say create table EMP underscore test as create table EMP underscore test as this specific select statement. So it says table EMP underscore test created. So now let's do this. Let's do this select star from emp underscore test and i will say order by created date for our better understanding right i am doing this so if you see here now i generated all this 120 records or so based on the 107 records based on the created date it's ordered since uh, we have just said order by created date you are seeing here the created date if i say descending maybe the latest records will come on the top right now you see 26th september one record 25th september so many records we got it right so now we have the data now we will go about writing the select statement so before that right i want us to understand the concept of time component in a date field so when i say select this date from dual it returns me the date where the OS server is the database is installed right from that server it returns the time component that server's date and time it returns now if i say select this state from dual i have done right the next statement i'm going to write is select this state comma trunk of this state from dual Trunk of sysdate, basically what it does is it removes the time component. So if you see here, right, 
26 September 927, 26 September 0000 I got. So a day starts basically a day starts what when does a day start right I can say day starts at 26th, uh, 26 September 2018 0000 0002 26 September 2018 2359 59 right so this is the date range so if i get 00, 0 i got so how can i get 2359 59 is basically you copy and paste this again and then what i will do is trunk of the state plus point we add the five phase Zero. See, over a period of time, we have identified this 23, 59, 59 you get. If I remove 1, 9, what happens is you will get some other time. 59, 51 you will get. So, we have added 5, 9s. You get 23, 59, 59. Right. So, this is how the trunk function works. Right. We have to, when you are involving time and all, we might have to use the trunk function. So, we will see different scenarios now. Right. So, let's say I want to get all the records right that got created yesterday i want all records that got created yesterday today it's 26 september so i want all the records that got created yesterday so basically what i'm saying is i want records created from right in this time from 25th september to 25th september here right uh, okay, records I got created for a got created yesterday. So it can be a generic requirement, and in an interview, people ask you, might ask you, how can I get all the records that got created yesterday? So, first, I will sh tell you how to write the where condition, right? Let's forget this. So I should get this right anytime if I run the SQL, this should work fine. So what I will do is trunk of sysState minus one I will do and here also I will do. So sysState minus one will give me the previous day and since I'm using trunk I will get 25th September this and the minus one plus this will give me this. So let me run the SQL. So now what you get is 25th September 002. 25th September 23 So now what we have to do is simply add this above uh, condition uh, right in my in this SQL. I can say where created date between these two values, right? I'll say between trunk of sys state minus one remove the comma and then say and so basically what you say where created date between 0, 0 to this and i will say order by created date it's just giving order by is optional giving order by for better readability so we get all the records that got created yesterday so you run the sql anytime right after a couple of days or a week or a month or a year you will get always the previous day's record so this is one sql right but if i want to get record for a specific given day right if i want to get it for let's say retrieve record for 22nd september retrieve records for 22nd September. I'm just saying, right? I want to get all the records that got created on 22nd September 2018. So, what I will do is I will say select star from EMP. Here I have to give specific dates. I can't use sys date, right? So, we are clear, right? The requirement here is for a specific date. So, I will simply say 22 September 2018 00 colon 00 00. So this colon 000 is optional. I will show you why I am saying it's optional. And then I'll say HH24 colon MI colon SS. This and, right, let me copy and paste this again. And I will change only the time to 2359.59. 
so now we get all the records that got created on a specific date here the specific date is 22nd September only thing you have to be mindful is since I'm using lowercase here I'm also using the lowercase here M O N. if M is S in caps then you have to use a specific case this 00, 0 is optional if you are starting from midnight right from 00, 0 if I'm starting then this 00, 0 is optional so what I can do is I can remove this as well I can remove this and I can say between this date and this date yeah so this is getting record for a specific for a given day right so if I want it for a week then I can just say from 15th September to 22nd September that will just change the date but only thing is we have to include the time component also right so the next question is people might be interested right in last 24 hours get get all records created in last 24 hours it's very generic so when I run the SQL anytime I should get all the records that got created in the last 24 hours so how can I get last 24 hours right it's simple right I have to say let let me run this right sys state sys state minus 1 will give me last 24 hours so from 20th September 933.37 to 26th September 93.30.37 now we will just simply say select star from EMP test where created date between I can just say between state minus 1 and state. Hmm. spelling mistake state. right so I get all the records that got created in the last 24 hours order by created underscore date so this SQL I can run any time right if I run the SQL today or after a week or after even a month or a year it will always return me the records that got created in the last 24 hours so basically with this video right uh, we have developed an understanding of how to use right uh, date along with uh, time uh, in the where condition thank you